Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. And if you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. So the Brooklyn Nets and the San Antonio Spurs are potential landing spots for Tyler Hero. So we all know that the Portland Trail Blazers do not want Tyler Hero. They just want to stick with uh, Scoot, Simons, and all their other young players. They don't want to take on his contract. Now, I will say I was very surprised to hear that only because Tyler Hero is no scrub. You know, Tyler Hero, he averaged 20.1 points, 5.4 rebounds, and 4.2 assists. I think that he's a great player at 23 years old, 6'5", 195 pounds. I understand, you know, he has his flaws. But just like all the other players in the NBA, they have their flaws too. I think especially with the Brooklyn Nets, he would definitely fit in with the young core with Ben Simmons, even though God knows what they're going to do with him. Cam Thomas, uh, Cameron Johnson, Mikael Bridges. They have Nick Claxton. So they have a great group of young guys that they're starting to build around. And I definitely think that they lack shooting. And Tyler Hero would definitely fit in with their timeline. Now, the San Antonio Spurs, they just got Wemby. They're not really trying to win for the next few years either. They're going to continue to build around Wemby, watch Wemby grow as a player, and put the ball in his hands. So that timeline with Pop and Wemby is not really going to fit with Tyler Hero. But hopefully we can get this deal done because, like I said, Damian Lillard is on the line. I understand that the Portland Trail Blazers, they're trying to play hardball. They're really not trying to work with Miami, quote unquote, and not, you know, give Damian Lillard his wishes, which I really find hard to believe only because they're the ones who failed Dame. If anything, they should have traded Damian Lillard years ago. They probably would have got better assets. He probably would have only requested Miami because when Dame requests Miami, no other team is going to trade for him. Why? Because they all know. Dame does not want to be there. So they're not going to give up assets. They're not going to give up, you know, good young players. And then Dame leaves anyway. So I think that this is really on Portland. I know that a lot of people are saying that, oh, well, if Portland makes this trade with Miami, it's going to be one of the worst trades in NBA history. No, you guys are just mad because Damian Lillard is going to the Miami Heat. Um, Dame, he stuck it out in Portland. He was as loyal as anybody could be. The Portland Trailblazers, they're the ones who failed to put an adequate roster around him. They traded CJ away, Norman Powell away, a bunch of great pieces, and they got absolutely nothing in return. They've been lying to Damian Lillard, giving him false hope for all these years. They knew good and well that they wanted to go young. You're telling me that they just came up with this idea? No. They knew that they wanted to go young. They knew that they really never wanted to build an adequate team around Damian Lillard. And now because the trade won't necessarily go 110% their way, they won't get the overhaul that they're expecting. They want to hold on the trade, make the trade difficult. So hopefully we can get this trade. Hopefully the um San Antonio Spurs or the Brooklyn Nets will step up to the plate, take Tyler Hero's contract to make this deal go through. Because I know that the Brooklyn Nets, they're also contemplating, okay, which player will we might have to give up to make this trade work, to make all the numbers work? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 2,000 subscribers.